Hello everyone, we are back with Everlasting Summer and continuing on the Alyssa saga. And we're back on the boat and they spelled Cauldron. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what Alyssa's true feelings are for Samian and hopefully they unravel in this episode. Both at school and college, trouble seems to have chosen me as its primary target. Someone blocked the classroom's door with a mop. Well, mop. So, wait, let me read that again. Someone blocked the classroom's door with a mop? I got a written reprimand in my mark book. There was a fight? All things considered, I must have started it. Failed an exam? Uh, well, of course, that's my fault, and the teacher who hates me has nothing to do with it. Even my parents always seem to pre uh, prefer blaming me rather than unfavorable circumstances. The third party's involvement or the dec decrees of the providence. At some point, I even started to believe that I somehow do attract trouble. Remember, remember Murphy's Law? But Semi, you're not even named Murphy. In my case, it was like, if something was nasty is gonna happen, it's gonna happen to me. For that reason, I always try to stay out of any trouble where I could become the whipping boy. Well, judging by today, I'm not really good at it. It seems like you ha it seems like you have got an aura of some sort. You do attract attention. Ew, Semyon! Oh my gosh, his re his reatsu is just like too strong. <laughs> Surprised, I looked at Alyssa. She was smiling. Looks like she can read my mind. Trouble, mostly. Who knows? Who knows? She said dreamily and stared in the river. It's a wonderful night, isn't it? Just like any other one, if you ask me. I mean, Simeon, did literally you got like a half a confession and like a subtle confession from Melissa? Did you not? Felt used up. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Just an ordinary night, nothing special. The best moment to make our most admirable camp leader really happy. She has to know that her favorite pioneer is a nasty pervert who enjoys peeking at naked girl. <sighs> All right, sure. Something snapped inside of me again. You aren't serious, are you? Why? Of course I'm s- <sighs> ah! why, why are you such a migraine, Alyssa? She didn't look like she was joking at all. Well, see yourself, but do you really think this is the best time to do that? Aren't you supposed to row? I literally want to throw you off the boat right now, Alyssa. Why do you think that? Do you just think that because you, you really want Semyon to think of you that way? Like, <sighs> I realized that our boat was still drifting in the river. Wait! Don't dodge my question. Let's get back to the camp. Bitch. Bitch! I'll have a moment to think it over. Getting to spend an entire night in a boat wasn't something I, was, I would aspire to, so I had to apply myself to the paddles. We barely made it to the pier. I was exhausted, both because of the rowing and because of Alyssa's intent to tell Olga Dimitrova about the, this morning's incident. Why? If you like him, why are you trying to fuck with him more? Like, I don't get it. Like, I guess I know that's like a way. It's like, oh, if you hate you, you're doing all this because you hate me because you like me. Like, if you truly like me, can you just not like make it more hard for me here? If I know our camp leader, her reaction will be quite predictable. So you're actually going to visit Olga Dimitrova now, are you? Why not? Why are you doing this? It's so annoying. It's not very cute. Okay, let's say- Okay, I know you're thinking about this seriously. Even if you do go to Olga, why if we just say like, no, you're a liar. Like, it's not true. Like, why are you even bringing this up? This is just so- ugh. She gave me her ro most roguish smile. It's night after all. She must be sleeping already. Who knows? She might be well awake. You're just teasing me, right? You're just teasing me? I mean, like, at this point, and like, it makes me sadistic angry, but- Come on, you know full well it was a coincidence. A simple misunderstanding triggered by Uliana. Yeah, literally we wanted to go take a shower, but we didn't want to be weird about it, so we went to go hide in the bushes. Like, that's it. And besides, would you have rather, like, walked into me naked? Like, jeez. No, I don't. <sighs> Alright, well, think what you want. <laughs> she flung her arms up and headed to the camp. I gathered all my remaining strength and jumped up and followed her. At first, I considered grabbing her arm. Then I realized it might be so not it might not be such a good idea after everything that happened today. Hold on, I I trudge unenergetically along next to her. Like we literally had this moment with like Lena and the confession or whatever, and then you're just gonna go like you know annoy us, but with this Olga Dimitrova bullshit. Let's talk this over. Is there anything to discuss? Like, are you actually my friend? Why are you making things harder? We suddenly walked alongside each other for some time. At least she walked slowly so that I had no trouble keeping pace with her and I was thankful for it. Hey, is there anything I can do to convince you to not tell Olga Dimitrina? Not sure, but well, there is one thing. What? What? 
He came to the square. So what is it? You bitch! You absolute swine! Oh my god! We're not even. Oh. Okay. Look, I'm not. Ah. Uh, ah. God, Alyssa, why are you? Why are you so indirect about your emotions? What, like, what? Okay, I need to continue. Well, stop chasing. Well, stop chasing Lena, for instance. For God's sake, what makes you think I'm chasing Lena? Exactly! Like, what the fuck is her deal? I started to lose my temper. Why are you making up such nonsense? You started the quarrel in the forest because of you. We had to go to the island, and here we go again. Enough is enough. I am not chasing her. Elsa stood still, bright moonshine lighting up her face, and showed evident signs of resentment and displeasure. Like, I don't see how you look at her. I literally have done everything in my power to avoid Lena, like, Alyssa. The only times we've ever talked to Lena is, like, with other people, and I really try hard. I have no idea what you're talking about. Even in this path, this fucking path to Alyssa, we have not fucking talked to Lena, like, at all. So I don't know what instance you think we would have been looking at her, but it's most likely your own fucking delusion. Okay. How- how do I look at her? Like that. Like what? You know. She shifted, she shifted her gaze or remained standing still. Hey, stop seeing everyone through your own twisted imagination. If you can't stop making up nonsense stories, then at least keep them to yourself. Don't make others suffer because of you and your stories. I don't care if you pick on me, but now you got Lena involved. I really lost my temple for good, but Alyssa didn't answer. We sank into an unexpected silence that was only broken by Alyssa's first sobs. From bad to worse, now you are crying. Like, okay. See, this doesn't make sense because we haven't even been hanging out with her, so I don't know why you're telling me to, like, tell her- not talk to her when we haven't been even hanging out with her the whole time. Like, Alyssa, do you know how many times he's fucking hung out with you and think, oh, at least he's not talk- at least if we're with you, like, oh, you can think and be safely sure, oh, we're not talking to Lena. Like, uh, have you got all- have you all gone mad here? I clasped my hands in despair. I could understand why Lena was crying, but I've seen Alyssa cry is unthinkable to say the least. I can't even see her reasoning. Any other time I would have definitely been shocked, but at this moment I'm just too tired for that. Okay, I, I'm wondering like, am I on the battle, battle Alyssa path right now? Because I feel like I've tried to- I thought I've been doing it right, but still. This is really annoying. <laughs> My mind was absolutely blank. To be precise, it was so heavy and full, so that not even a single idea would have the chance to dwell there. If I were to compare my brain at its prime to a broad highway full of speeding thoughts overtaking each other, oh my god, Sammy, it's a fucking long sentence. And causing giant chaotic crashes, then now it's nothing but a forgotten tiny path in a distant, desolate forest, which is only used in times of absolute necessity. Lessa kept silent. At least she stopped crying. If you really think it's so serious, go ahead and tell go and tell go ahead and tell everything to Olga Dimitrimba. Like I don't understand what's her deal. Like, okay, like, why, why do you want, okay, like, okay, so I guess, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn the cog wheels in my brain right now, so she's telling us to not, t like, she, she'll threaten us to go tell Olga Dimension that we were peeping on her because she wants us to stop looking at Lena when we haven't been looking at her at all, so I hope it makes you feel better. Okay, I won't do it, she said quietly and turned to me. The tears are all gone, but, but her face seemed to express absent sorrow at the world. I'm just feeling hurt. By what? What hurt you? I asked her tiredly. It's always like that. She gets all the intention, always pushes me aside. Huh? <laughs> uh, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, here's the thing. There isn't like, in, even in the common path, like there isn't really like, was there like a big event that happened to make Alyssa and like Lena like fight each other? I barely remember them even like interacting with the, each other at all, to be quite honest, so I don't know why she thinks this way. Or is this some sort of childhood trauma thing? I had difficulty understanding what she was talking about and decided to play along. Probably should finally leave me alone. It's not true. You do draw attention and people don't overlook you. I don't. I raised my eyebrows and looked at her. Her facial expression was a mixture of amazement and expectation. See? So you... <sighs> Could you... All of a sudden, her voice became tender that I flinched at in astonishment. <laughs> like, literally, at the moment's hatch, I was just like, Oh, dude, she's, like, expressing, like, tender emotions? Whoa, crazy. So his face turned red and she hid her eyes. <laughs> Alright. 
So, you really think I'm as good as her? I want to say something like even better, but I stopped myself. I mean, okay, just say it. Just do it, Semin. You be the nice person because I'm still kind of annoyed. Yes, I do. It seems she didn't understand that I said it all absolutely insincerely. All right, time to sleep. Elsa suddenly yelled cheerfully. Now that she was acting more like herself again. See you tomorrow. God. She waved her hand and ran away. I sighed in relief. Well, it was over for today. God. All my remaining energy was wasted on a sprint to Olga Dimitrova's cabin. There was no light, so not trying to wake up the camp leader, I undressed quietly and lay down. It's still interesting. What did Alyssa mean? And Lena? It all became totally unclear what was going on with them. Uh, with me. As if we got sucked into some sort of vortex which started the swirl of fear's power. I mean, it's really obvious, right? It's like Lena and Alyssa both have crushes, and Alyssa feels like she doesn't- she's feel, she feels insecure inferior because she thinks Lena is better than her because everyone gets the attention to Lena but then Lena has her own issues where it's like oh I why are you even doing this blah 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 what's gonna happen next and where will I be thrown then I don't like this man <laughs> I mean like it's cute I guess that she's tender or whatever but why did we have to go so hard just to get Alyssa to show some sort of fucking kind expression like it's just such nonsense but all right I woke up early Olga when Olga Dimitro was still asleep I stretched and sat up on the bed. I felt surprisingly okay, although I should have slept through the day after what happened that night before. Quietly, as so, so as not to wake the camp leader, I took the bag with my wash washing up stuff and went outside. I forgot to lock the I forgot to look at the clock, but it seemed like six or seven in the morning. Okay, so I'm pressing control. This is new. The camp was asleep. The grass was shaking off the night dew. A light fog hung above the ground, and the sun was just beginning to break through the treetops. Not warm at all yet, like the fluorescent lamp in the house across from the mine. I took a deep breath of a tasty cold air and thought that even a night owl like me can enjoy waking up this early sometimes. The streets of the camp were empty, of course. Please, Semyon, don't repeat the same incident with Alyssa like now, okay? There's a bat. There's legitimately a bathhouse here. The water here has always been out cold, but today it seems like they got it from the Antarctic depths. Even my hands went numb from it. Finishing with my hygiene, I decided to walk around the camp a bit. Olga Dimitrova is asleep. Breakfast is not ready yet, so there's nothing to do. I came to the square and looked at Genda. That guy doesn't seem to care if it's day or night. He's alert. I mean, okay. <laughs> Alright, Simeon. I smiled at my joke and headed to the boat shed. As I walked, I hummed some song. Absolutely sure I was the only one awake here. To my great surprise, I saw someone sitting at the pier, hanging her feet in the water. Is Alyssa? Alyssa. I mean, it seems like she really likes water, though, so that's cool. I came closer and stopped, but not sure what to say. Then she suddenly turned around and stared at me. Been standing here long. No? Why aren't you asleep? Why aren't you? She turned back and stared at the river again. Looks like I'm not the only one in a good mood today. At least she wasn't being sassy again. Can't sleep. I see. About yesterday. You get everything, right? Huh? What exactly? Oh, for God's sake! I'm sorry. You can you please explain this to me? I'm not here to guess your mind games. My answer didn't seem to go down well. All right, I did. I lied. All right, good. You suddenly I looked straight in the. Ah. No, Simeon. Why did you say that? Like, what does she mean? Like, you get everything, right? And she tried to say like, oh hey, so I like you, but like I didn't really want to say it. Is that what she's trying to do? Like, in that case, I have plans for you tonight. Huh? And may I ask what they are? No need to know. Well, since I'm part of them, you'll know when it's time. You just fucking ambush me in the middle of the night and cut off my body parts. Can you give me a hint at least? Nope. She got up and walked towards me. A bit scared, I cleared the way. Don't do anything stupid, Alyssa said, moving away from the boat shed. I wonder what she meant. What are those plans? I had no wish to become part of some sort of terrorist act at a monument or anything. Besides, I was still haunted by yesterday's talk with Lena on the island. She's probably still angry. I never managed to explain everything to her. Although I don't know how I would say if I had the chance. I feel guilty about everything that had happened, but I couldn't figure out what exactly I was guilty of. The camp was starting to wake up. Breakfast was at least an hour away, but I had no desire to go back to the camp leader's cabin, so I, uh, so I decided to wait by the canteen. At least I'd be the first one there for once. I sat on the steps and watched the sunrise. Uh, sometimes it's just great to watch a new day come. I was overwhelmed with complete peace and tranquility. There were no thoughts to tear up my brain as they usually do. I simply bathe in warm rays of the heaven star. Wow, that's a pretty sentence. 
In any other place and circumstance, I could probably even say I was happy. Good morning. You're early today. I looked up and saw Lena standing in front of me. She was smiling. You too. All of last night's events flashed before my eyes. Listen. If this is about yesterday, please don't. She, inter she interrupted me sharply. I... I don't know what came over me. <coughs> oh my god, I don't know what's coming over me! Holy fuck! You know, let me drink some water. I've been eating too many fucking Takis right now. Ah, okay. I don't know what came over me. It was all... Just forget it. She stared at me. Lena seemed much more confident than usual. If only it was all that simple. There's nothing complicated about this. She sat down next to me. So I felt so close I felt a bit awkward but made no attempt to move away from her. Sometimes I have disputes with Alyssa. Yeah, I realized. I see. But in this case it happened because of me. Who knows? He answered lost in thought. That's why, you know, I'm embarrassed. Perhaps I really am to blame. Or rather, I'm not trying to say that I'm not to blame, but I was trying to explain myself like a fifth grader to a teacher. Okay, don't. As I said, nothing serious happened. If you think so, you should just think about how to act from now on. Not again. I covered my face with my hands, clearly showing that I have absolutely no idea what's going on here, and that everything, to put it mildly, is very unpleasant for me. Could you express yourself any clearer? What for? He said evasively. Look, if I don't know what I did wrong, I can't do better. I can't decide on how to act, as you say. I think you'll understand. I would like to believe that as well, but... The canteen door suddenly flew open and Olga Dimitrova came out. <sighs> Sitting around hungry this early? Did I give her that voice? No, it was like more hoity-toity, wasn't it? She said playfully. Good morning. Elena said merrily. She got up and headed inside. Shall we? Yeah, sure. And everyone's here on cue. We were not done talking, but Pinees appeared out of nowhere and flooded the place. By the time I got my breakfast, Lena was already sitting, surrounded by Miku, Jenya, and Slavia. Sadly, there were no more free chairs at their table. <clears throat> Feeling down, de deliberately not saying hi to everybody, I headed to my favorite place from the far corner of the canteen. The boys? I chewed on my oatmeal, it was really chewy today, and washed it down with some cold tea. Then I began to watch the others. All the Pioneers seemed to be here. Some were chatting, like uh, some like electronic shurik, or immersed in chewing. Some were gaping, gaping, gawping around like me. Oh my god, Uliana. <laughs> I was just about to leave when Uliana jumped over to my table with a tray heaped with food. Alright. <clears throat> bon appetit! She blurted. Stealing again? I asked, openly staring at her tray. A growing body- Oh my god. A growing body requires a lot of calories! I think I made, like, really high, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you should really grow up a bit. I whispered. What? I didn't think she heard me. Nothing. I headed out. Leaving so soon? She yelled at me back, disheartened. I gave no answer. I should have taken the washing up stuff back in. I don't really want to carry it around all day. Besides, what am I going to do today? Nothing at all came to mind. I was in such a mood that it seemed like someone was going to show up and invite me on a journey. Um, we're just gonna wait for Alyssa, dude. I left the cabin leaders or camp leaders cabin and paused for a moment. Then a voice, uh, then I heard, then heard a voice calling out to me. Oh my God, Slavia! We haven't seen you in a hot second. Semyon! It was Slavia. Busy? No. Can you help me? Of course. I didn't want to look for answers on a wonderful day like this. A couple dozen hours wouldn't change my situation at all. What is it? should stop by the cybernetics club. I don't know why exactly. They'll tell you everything. Oh my god, my fucking throat. So basically what's happening to me right now, y'all, is like if I read for too long, like, I don't know why, it's like the spit in the back of my mouth. It gets all like fucking clogged up and I need to like unclog it. That's probably too TMI, but like that's what I just like want everyone to know <laughs> that's like what's happening right now. Water break. Okay, I mean, it probably doesn't help that I ate a bunch of Takis, but also, the unfortunate inventors again. Alright. All right. Thank you. She gave me a nice smile and ran off. So, a journey to the enemy's lair lies ahead of me. To the lair of do evil Dr. Electronic and Dialogic Professor Shurik. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's funny. <laughs> Pushed the door firmly entered. 
Simeon? Electronics said, um, set up an ominously glancing up from some contraption he had been poking with a screwdriver. Zavia sent me. I know. And what? The second door opened and Shira came in. Sam, oh my gosh, I don't even. I don't think I have a consistent voice for Shira. If I'm being quite honest, I just make him so much more nerdy. Like, oh, Simeon, he greeted me in the same tone Electronic had. Well, at last, I was last time. I was last time. Wait, what? Well. I was last time I checked. Checked what? I joked. So what do you need from me? We have an important task for you. I'm listening. The nurse came by yesterday. He stopped as if he wasn't going to continue. So? I asked carefully. So we have an important mission for you. I got that already. You are to deliver a package to her. Okay, so... I mean, like, why didn't you start with that, my dude? Can't you just do that yourselves? The infirmary's right over there. I said skeptically. We can't. Electronics said surprised. What a weird couple indeed. I see. Not another heavy bag, I hope. No, no. Oh my god, my voice. No, no, nothing like that. He smiled. Alright, fine. I carefully agreed. Hold on. Alright, that was sh fucking Shurik. Hold on. It's like I'm not- I'm really trying hard not to have like Shurik and Semyon have the fucking same voice. Uh, sure, disappeared through the door and soon came back holding something wrapped in paper. Just be careful. Alright, alright. Take the package and the pioneers were passing me to the keys to the pearly gates. It still looked like they were at least giving me the lip of torch. The fuck are you talking about, Semyon? Can I go? Of course. Electronic said threateningly. Just be careful. Sure pleaded. Um... Outside, I took a good look at the package. They never told me not to open it, although it would make sense to go further on. I quickly walked up to the square and make sure nobody was following, slipped into the forest. Wait, why are you gonna open the package, bro? I just stood there for a while and decided to look at the package. Fucking dead body, dead body. I wonder, what's in it? Why is it so important for them? Why couldn't they just take it themselves? I had a lot of questions. I opened the package and saw a bottle of... <laughs> Stalk it. Oh my gosh. Stalk... Leknaya? Vodka? Well, so what? Pioneers bring a bottle of vodka to the nurse. Rather I'm doing it for them. Happens every day. I wrapped the bottle back up and scratched my head. This isn't weird anymore, this is just stupid. So stupid I couldn't even think of one intelligent theory. I stood there for a while like, longer and thought I shouldn't let such a wonderful chance slip away. I quickly walked to the camp leader's cabin. Thank god Olga Dmitrieva was not there. I snuck inside and began to waffle through the contents in the table drawer. Soon the vodka was in a soda bottle, when, while it's placed in some water for the plants. Wait, what are you doing, Semyon? Why did you, did you just literally exchange like the water, the vodka out for water? But what if they actually need the vodka for like medicinal purposes, you fool? Like yeah, alcohol-based wipes? Uh, happy with my clever plan, I went out and skipped along the way to the infirmary. Seriously, what was so wrong about that? They almost got me into a trap. The camp leader had seen me. If anyone else had, I could have managed myself. There was absolutely nothing. I gathered all my strength and knocked on an infirmary door. Like, what are you doing, bro? <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Hello, Pioneer. Hello, I have a package for you. A bottle of your- for your armpit. I mean a package for your cabinet. I was so euphoric, I began to talk nonsense. <sighs> she said, hand it over. Handed her the package. Uh, the nurse snuffed, snuffed, <laughs> she snuffed it, <laughs> stuffed it into a desk drawer without looking. You didn't open it, did you? Of course not, I blurted out. Good boy. All right, so I'll be, go, go, pioneer. I closed the door behind me and let out a sigh. I could always put, I could always pin this on crazy inventors. And in my situation, I could really use the most basic form of stress relief. I came to the square. The clock showed noon. That meant dinner was coming. Dinner comes at noon? What? I sat on the bench with the solid intention of not moving from here until the come and get a <laughs> come and get a bell um, sound comes. Pine News were running by. They were smiling, chatting merrily. Yes, the day was definitely a wonderful one. I just want to know what Alyssa's gonna do to us at night, honestly. I glanced over the square and saw Lena approaching. Relaxing. Something like that. She sat by me and looked at the sky. Nice day, huh? It is. It was a bit awkward. Lena seemed different. She was not embarrassed. Her face was not red. She was confident. 
So about that conversation. I told you everything already. Yeah, but... Just forget it. You say so. We sat for a little longer in silence. I just can't. Not like that. So what do you think? <laughs> okay. So what do you think about Alyssa? She said, ignore ignoring my inquiry. What do I think about Alyssa? She's a fucking nightmare to be around. <laughs> I repeat, I repeat, lost in thought. I don't really know why. You're just, so, you're just so worried about yesterday. Well, of course, but what does that have to do with it? And there's a direct connection there. It's Lena is literally trying to point out the obvious right now, Simeon. It's like, do you like Alyssa? Would you like her enough to touch your fucking boobies? Ugh, she laughed. Let's assume. So what? Well, she... And again, I started thinking. Really, what do I think of her? This is literally the first time we talked to Lena, like, one-on-one -on -one in, like, a fucking while, too. Well, she... She can be arrogant sometimes, which is not not cute. That's right. Or, that's right. What else can I say? Now that I think about it, I don't know Alyssa at all. The way she acts does annoy me sometimes. If you were running, if I had any negative feelings about her, then no. I mean, she gets carried away, but everyone has their quirks. Look, I mean... Speak for yourself, Semyon. Lena stared at me. Really? Did I say something wrong? No, not really. She laughed out loud one more time just before the lunch bell came. sound came. Oh, lunch! Why didn't you call it dinner then, Semyon? Alright, see you. I didn't stop her, although I had a lot of questions left. How do I ask them? And should I? I got up and slowly s shuffled to the canteen. There were only a few spots left, so I had to, wait I had to sit with Electronic and Shurik. Did, did you deliver it? Yeah. I answered lazily, poking my fork at the buckwheat kasha. What is a buckwheat kasha? No incidents? No incidents. What was in there anyway? You didn't open it, did you? He stared. No. Great. Finishing my meal, I went out. I don't even know why he did that, though, honestly, sent me in. I was struck by a sudden yawn. Taking a nap wouldn't be a bad idea. I head to the camp leader's cabin. It felt like the summer sun was going to melt the whole planet together with all, all of with its inhabitants. There was no, nowhere to hide. The sunlight seemed to reflect from every surface. Looking up, you were going blind. Using my last bit of strength, I pulled the door handle, entered the room, and fell onto the bed. Of course, I wouldn't expect the cabin to be really cool, but it was much better than outside. Blissfully, I stretched out in the bed and closed my eyes. Oh, my boy's taking a nap! That's awesome! Strangely, sleep deserted me. I was overwhelmed with thoughts teeming in my head. Here's another theory, a solution to the problem of how I got here. Here's an explanation of what's going on here, and here is the true form of all of those inhabiting this place. I remember Lena saying, what do you think of Alyssa? Seriously, what do I think of her? She's fucking... Whatever. <laughs> but like, she's like, she's more soon than Dare, and there's too much- there's so much soon I can handle. What can I think of a person I've only known for a few days? Not that much. Can I just draw conclusions based off their couple words and deeds? Although her deeds... I laughed a bit. Any relevant organization would draw the right conclusion based on the monument bombing. Still though, I... Don't care? Maybe I really don't think of any think anything of her. Can one be interesting in a person who's not interesting? No, that's some sort of absurdity. Knock on the door. Delissa, come in. I was too lazy to get up, and I just sat up a little bit. Ah! <laughs> okay, wait, no, that's a usual get up. The door opened. I saw Alyssa. What a coincidence. She stopped unsure and stared at me for a couple seconds. I guess you were looking for the camp leader. Why would she though? No. What's up then? I was looking- I was looking for you. My god, please don't have a sex scene, like, in the cabin. Like, that's not gonna happen, right? Um, she sounded calm and not aggressive at all. Caught myself thinking I was not afraid of her and had no concerns when she behaved like that, normally. What for? I want to- Oh my god, fuck, she's gonna confess. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> I want to make everything clear. She sat on the bed across from me. What exactly? I want to clean up any misunderstandings or miscommunications. Thank you, Alyssa. That's nice. This is nice. All right, I'm up for that. Have you spoken with Lena today? Yes. About what? Nothing real. Wow, I'm a little. I just switched their voices. Nothing really. You're lying. Alyssa looked stiff and worried. She crossed her legs and bit her lip. You do you understand? I. I'm always assumed to be guilty whenever 
anything happens. Okay, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Well, you are always guilty. I said thoughtlessly. A spark flashed in her eyes, but she kept talking calmly. Maybe. But in this case... I mean, Lena, uh, we're always like that. Even if she starts something, she's all innocent and I take the blame. Sure, I believe that. So you're saying that Lena... Actually, I don't really know what you're saying. You never understand anything, do you? Excuse me, aren't you, aren't you here to tell me you wanted to clear up something? She fumed. This is strange, I wouldn't call myself slow. So I'll explain. You do know that Lena likes you. She went red after those words. No? I answered truthfully. Well, now you do. So it is true. In every single fucking path, Lena's canonically liked us. That's amazing. Now I do. Uncomfortable silence overtook the room. I was processing what she said, and Alyssa seemed unsure in how to continue the conversation. Lena likes me? Could I ever have guessed? Unlikely. We didn't even hang out with her at all. My intuition is usually good, but when it comes to me about me and my feelings, it does not work at all. The weirdest thing was I accepted the news with almost no worries. Right at that moment, I was listening to Alyssa. I was only focused on her. I can think about the rest later. <laughs> Okay, and she thinks I'm gonna steal you away from her. She thinks that all the time, understand? Even though it's always the other way around, everyone looks at her because she's such an angel and nobody pays attention to me. Okay, I know I just laughed at your statement there, but that's actually an interesting thought, though. She thinks I'm gonna steal you away from her, and she thinks that all the time, understand? Uh, I don't- okay. I mean, I know I've been shitting on Alyssa for her behavior, but I don't think she would lie about something like this. So, like, Al so Leta wants me for herself, and she thinks Alyssa's gonna steal that, steal me away from her, and people don't really give blame to her because, like, she's more renowned as nice versus Alyssa being more, like, rebellious. To them, I'm just a shoulder to cry on. Oh, she's crying. Alyssa oh, she, oh, she was screaming. Oh, wow. Alyssa started screaming. Look, I, please don't get so upset. I don't think of you like that. Of course. I still had no idea what forced her to be so honest, and I don't know how to react. Moreover, I was not worried at all. It was like I was watching another episode of some TV series while I was going in the room on the other side of the screen. I understand. I was the reason for all of it. But today, Lena said it was okay. That's just like her. You probably realize that she's not as quiet as she wants to seem. I mean, she didn't come up to me and stab me in the chest or anything, so it's like... I started to guess. But I can do anything. Tell me. Alyssa raised her eyes. Only then did I see she'd been crying. Some sort of stor worry stirred inside of me. I could not treat this conversation like I was an outsider anymore. <laughs> okay. Do you like Lena or do you like or do you like me? What have I said? Neither. JK, we like you. Come on. I guess I should have expected a question like that, but I just wasn't ready. <clears throat> Just like that. Lena is nice, of course, but Alyssa had her good points as well. Besides, the way she was at the moment, you could seriously compete with Lena. Yeah, I yeah. I don't really know you two at all. A question like that, it's difficult to answer directly. If I could say no, I would have at that very moment. But if I only had one chance, I only had one chance for the other answer as well. I didn't know what to choose. You didn't want the situation to resolve itself. Man, if we can you imagine if we didn't pick the Le the Lena and Alyssa pout route in the in the forest or or in the camping trip or whatever forest, and we just hung out with like Olga Dimitrova or like fucking Slavia, like this would not this never would have been resolved. Like, oh, I forgot what happens when you hang out with Slavia. Do you go where the f I think you go to like a lake or whatever, right? Do you go to a lake? I don't fucking remember. I know I know with the Olga Dimitrova you play like a game or something. <clears throat> anyway, why but again? Why again? Why why? Look, we're going nowhere with this. Well, answer then. Her face fell back into its usual bold arrogance. I need time to think. I'll go ahead and think. Alyssa stood up abruptly and headed out. <laughs> ah, don't forget we have plans for tonight. She stood on the threshold smiling. Hey, the door closed behind her and all before I could say anything. Plans? What kind of plans? Fucking sexy plans, am I right? Oh, okay, no, uh, that's a fucking joke, but... <laughs>